song says, light up the world. Come on, lift your voice. Say, light up the world.
Let's give God another round of applause and blessing. All of you, bless his mighty name. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Let's do ourselves a favor today. Let's not quench the spirit. Amen. 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 We, 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 we have an hour and a half that we set aside. And, and let's, let, let's concentrate on Jesus today. Amen. Amen. Welcome to everybody. Uh, more importantly, welcome to those of you that are perhaps uh, visiting with us, the Redeeming Grace Church family. And perhaps it's your first or even your second time. We'd like to celebrate you and love on you with the love of Jesus Christ. We have a team of people we call a hospitality team. They are ready, set, go to bring you a gift and, and a hug uh, from the Redeeming Grace family. And the only way we're going to know that you're visiting, you're a guest for the very first or second time is that you stand on your feet. Do us a favor, just stand on your feet. We won't ask you to say anything. We just love on you. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate our guests. Glory. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord of glory. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's go greet our guests and greet one another. Amen. Amen. coming together for the scripture readings. Please take your seats. We will be reading Luke 1, 26 to 35. The incarnation, meaning the announcement of Jesus Christ. I will do the leader, and you will do the congregation. We have a monitor behind me, one on my right and left. And I'm getting ready to read. I am getting ready to read. One more time. God the Father, the Son, 
in the precious Holy Ghost. I'm getting ready to read. Mm. Lead. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin be thought to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Congregation. But when she saw him, she was troubled at this saying and considered what manner of greetings this was. Congregation. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and he shall be called his name Jesus. Congregation. He will be great and will be called the Son of Christ, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angels, How could this be? I do not know a man. All and the angel answered said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his sanctified word. Good morning, Redeeming Grace. Amen. These are your Sunday morning announcements. RG pendants are on sale today while supplies last. Get yours while it lasts. Amen. Like, share, and follow our new Facebook page at our Grace CSA. That's at our Grace CSA. The nursing home ministry will be meeting here at the church on Saturday, December 22nd at 2 p.m. to go to Paramount Rehab and Healthcare Center located at 5437 Eisenhower Road. Come and join us as we love God and what? The blood of Jesus prevails. Amen. And we're going to try it one more time. Love God and what? Love people. Amen. Hallelujah. There will be an RGC Sweet Shop Sunday, December 23rd, immediately following 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. service in the Connection Room. We're asking volunteers and bakers to donate pies, cookies, cake, pops, candy, brownies, and more. Amen? For more information, please contact Deaconess Sunday McDonald. Amen, amen, amen. RGC and family churches, yes, we are going to gather right here at Redeeming Grace at the close of 2018. Amen? Amen. Make some noise in the house. All right. On the noise meter, that was about a five of a, uh, between a one and a ten. Amen. All right. Glory to God. Come and experience the production of The Prodigal Son Goes to Las Vegas on New Year's Eve, December 31st at 10 p.m. All of our family will be in the place, so make sure you've got a seat in the house. Amen. 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 Join us for... <laughs> Refresh Wednesdays, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. here in the auditorium. All are welcome to come. Yes, that means you have an invitation. Yeah, that means you and you and you and you. All y'all got an invitation to come and hear a word from the Lord and lift up his holy name midweek to press you through the rest of the week. Amen? Amen. 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 The RGCCSA app can be found in the app stores. Amen. To give, you can go to our app or website. You can bring, uh, write a check or bring cash. Amen. However you want to pay your tithes and offering unto God. Amen. Redeeming Grace Markets are every second Saturday at 11 a.m. Business owners, business owners, we need vendors. And you can get your space, your 10 by 10 space for $35. Please contact Deborah Bess at Yahoo. Yahoo.com. The multimedia team is looking for volunteers to operate the proclaimed system, stage lights, and video camera. If you can volunteer just one Sunday or even one service, please contact Deaconess Twyla Varnado. Amen?
Amen. Follow us on all of our social media accounts and invite friends to check us out as well as for news on our upcoming events and holiday alerts. You can visit rgccsa.org for our calendar or a list of available department and volunteer opportunities. Now we're back in the hands of our bishop. Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a hand and bless him. Amen. That's what we're here for. That is what we're here for. Amen. Well, uh, it has been mentioned, the, the play, The Prodigal Son, goes to Vegas, amen. amen. We are expecting um, two of our churches to come and celebrate with us. Uh, Power and Grace will be here, amen. And uh, also, um, like, Liberty, Grace. Liberty Grace, amen. And at least we all have the Grace name, amen. <laughs> all right. And then afterwards, we're going to have a time of celebration and, and, uh, fellowship, amen, and uh, we won't be all night, uh, but uh, stay with us and eat some black-eyed peas and some cornbread, amen. Now, back in the day, folks used to say that was good luck, but it wasn't good luck for the pea. <laughs> so, amen, disregard that, we just eating them, amen, just to uh, enjoy and fellowship and uh, then we'll be out, all right, amen. Uh, my daughter is preaching for us today in the person of Evangelist D. Pettis. Amen. 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 And before they come for the offering, I want to share something with you uh, from the Word of God, Malachi uh, 3. And I'm going to start at verse 6. And it says this, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Yet from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. And then he says, return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Then it goes into verse 8, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, but you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings, you are cursed with a curse. It didn't say that the Lord was cursing you. It says you are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Then verse 10 says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and try me, test me. Now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations, will call you blessed, and you will be delightful, a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Amen? Amen. So as we go forward and declare, uh, when the deacons come, let us be reminded of this. Amen? It's not just a bunch of words, but we're literally declaring unto the Lord that we believe his word. Help me somebody. Amen. That we believe his word and that we trust his word. It is amazing to me that we can trust him in some things and not trust him in all things. Amen, amen, amen. How many of you have faith? Amen. I declare that all of you have a measure of faith. And you know why? Because you walked in this room. You sat down on some chairs that you didn't pray over. You just believed that those chairs were going to hold you up. You crossed some bridges that you didn't know whether those bridges, come on here somebody. You drove down some streets so you have faith. So we don't have limited faith just for some things. 
but we have faith in God. And if God's word says that he will keep the divine for our sake, help me somebody. That old washing machine that should have broken down, he'll keep that thing. That hoop dig that, that looks like it ought to be breaking down, he'll keep that thing. Yes, he will. Amen. I, I, I had an occasion that a car wouldn't start for me. It was cold as all get out. In, in the middle of December when we were in our infancy at the old building, and we tried everything to start. And I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, you promised that you would keep the divine for my sake. I laid hands on that thing, boom, it started. I'm not telling you no lie. So I know that God is more than able to do abundantly and above all that we ask for or think. Amen? So all we've got to do is trust him, not in word only, but in action. Amen? Amen? So enough preaching. Daughter's going to preach. Amen? I will be back next Sunday. Amen? Full force and not in this suit. Amen? If I'm in a Cossack, I'm preaching. If I'm in a suit, I ain't. All right? All right, that's how you can tell. Come on, deacons, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Let us stand, please, for our tithes and offering confession. Place your tithes in your right hand because we give God what is right and what is not his left. Please repeat after me. This is my money. This is my, money. my money represents my time. My, my time is my life. And I give my life to you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. The tithes and offering confession. Let us repeat together. Father. Father. 